All right, thanks for the call. Electrified Reviews family, I'm Logan and I have returned on this beautiful overcast California day. Today we are reviewing the Bentelli Trio Deluxe. Let's dive in. Today we're going to be giving our take on the Trio Deluxe from Bentelli. This three-wheeled green machine is approachable, feature-rich, and sits at a nice price point for an electric trike. Trikes in general are considered to be safer as they provide an extra point of stability with their third wheel, kind of like a loving best friend that tags along during dates to make sure everything goes smoothly. Does the Trio Deluxe deliver the same level of support? Well. We're about to find out. The Trio Deluxe comes with an MSRP of $2,399 USD. Now, for an electric trike, we're well into the affordability category with that price tag. Bintelli also throws in a two-year limited warranty and access to their awesome team of customer service reps. So what's in the box? The Bentelli Trio Deluxe has a 48 volt, 500 watt front mounted hub motor. This motor is more than capable of hitting its top speed of 20 miles per hour and honestly, it feels like it'd go a bit faster if it was allowed to. The motor is paired with a 48 volt, 18 amp controller, which is as good of a pairing as fish and white wine. Thinking about who this e-bike is designed for and marketed to, I think the power curve and power delivery make a lot of sense. It's not going to win any races off the line, but it'll get up to its 20 mile per hour speed and stay there. Honestly, this is exactly what you want with a trike that has a front wheel hub motor. The gentler power curve helps to reduce wheel slip and increase traction, which equals more safety. To reach the 20 mile per hour top speed in the Trio Deluxe, you can use either the thumb throttle or the cadence sensing pedal assist. Normally at this point in the review, we'd mention the inherent latency with cadence sensors, but the truth is this one feels like it is well tuned and the latency is almost unnoticeable. Next, let's talk about the battery. The Trio Deluxe comes with one 48 volt, 12.5 amp hour locking and removable battery. That's about 600 watt hours worth of distance, which translates to about 20 to 30 miles on a full charge. This isn't a setup that will get you across the state, but Bintelli doesn't imply that it will. Again, Bintelli is doing a great job of being transparent with realistic ranges on their website. One of my favorite things about the Bintelli Trio Deluxe is the frame. It's got a very approachable standover height of 16 inches and a sweeping design that makes it look pretty ergonomic when viewed from the profile. It has a standard reach of 21 inches, but also features an adjustable zoom stem, so you could probably shave an inch or two off that reach if needed. All in all, the frame has a good looking design and has a geometry that can be enjoyed by riders of all heights. Now, let's talk about brakes. 
We've got mechanical disc brakes with the 160 millimeter rotors, both on the front and rear wheels. On a bike this size going these speeds, we'd like to see hydraulic disc brakes and maybe that's an upgrade we can see in the future models of the bike. Of course, with hydraulic brakes, we would lose the locking functionality on the mechanical brake levers, which is awesome for keeping the trio locked in place when parked on an incline. Still, while the brakes did fine and worked as intended, as you guys know, we love to see hydraulic brakes on e-bikes. They would offer more stopping power and would also require less hand pressure to bring the trike to a halt. When it comes to the transmission, the Trio Deluxe is outfitted with a Shimano Turney derailleur paired with a 7-speed Shimano SIS index thumb shifter. It features a large 44-tooth chainring up front, which makes pedaling easy and efficient. We didn't notice any ghost pedaling here, which is always a good sign that the gear ratio was well thought out. As far as suspension goes, up in the front, we've got a suspension front fork. This helps to smooth out the bumps and between the front fork and the CST BFT tires here, we've got a pretty slick ride. The CST BFT tire in the front measures 24 inches by 4 inches while the pair of rear wheels come in at 20 inches by 4 inches. At first glance, this might sound incorrect, but if you look at the frame from the side, you'll notice the frame slopes to the rear to accommodate the different size tires. The only thing that would make the Trio more comfortable is an aftermarket seat post suspension, which is almost always a good accessory to add. Speaking of the rear of the trike, this might be a good time to discuss the many ways you can carry cargo with the Trio Deluxe. The large rear basket has enough room for a medium sized cooler or an average sized golden retriever. We did not get an average sized golden retriever to test our bold claims, but we've got a good eye for animal sized rear baskets, so you can trust us on this one. And what kind of dog do you think could fit in the front basket? Let us know in the comments below. The front basket is another sweet addition here, allowing us to really load the Trio Deluxe down with quite a few necessities or pets. The Trio Deluxe also comes with fenders for all three wheels and all do a pretty good job of keeping dirt or water off the rider. In my opinion, they could probably be a little bit longer as I wouldn't fully classify these as full fenders, but they do what I needed them to do, which was keep my backside mud free. We don't get a color LCD, but off on the left hand side of the cockpit, we've got an easy to read grayscale display. The display is going to tell us all the pertinent information and is easy to see even in direct sunlight. There's a debate that rages on concerning which display is better, color or grayscale, and although we're more partial to the color LCD displays, the display on the Trio Deluxe is definitely a mark in the pros column. The Trio Deluxe is a step up from Bintelli's base Trio e-trike, and if you're partial to the fat tire look, the Trio Deluxe will not disappoint. It has the power to tote around tons of cargo or dogs, and it sits comfortably in the affordable realm of e-trikes. If you guys have any other questions about this or any other bikes that we review on Electrified Reviews, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do about providing some solid answers. And with that, let's take the Bintelli Trio out for a ride. And that's it for the Bentelli Trio Deluxe Electrode family. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Please like and subscribe so we can bring you more electrified reviews.